Hello students, this is Oshani from Chinta.com. In this video, we will learn about the triangular inequality and how to apply the triangular inequality in the context of geometry problems. This is one of the most fundamental techniques to solve problems in geometry. If you take a triangle ABC, sum of two sides is larger than the third side. And there is a counterpart of this. Sometimes students forget about it. Difference of two sides is less than the third side. So let me write it. If ABC are three sides of a triangle, ABC, then sum of two sides, A plus B, is greater than the third side. And difference of two sides, that is, let's say A minus B, is less than the third side. So this particular inequality can be used in a variety of ways to solve problems. We will be solving one such problem from ISI BSTAT BMAT entrance. This problem says that how many triples are there ABC such that A is less than B is less than C such that ABC has sides of a triangle with perimeter 21. So, A plus B plus C is 21. That's given. It's also given that A is less than B is less than C. How many such triples are there? The first thing you realize is that since these are all integers, all integers, the smallest number, that is A, can be between 1 and 6. A, the value of A, can range between 1 and 6. Why is that? Why can't A be 7? Well, if A is 7, B plus C is 14 because the total is 21. So if B plus C is 14, then one of them must be at least 7 or more, right? But we now know that then the other one is 7 or less. That means less than A or equal to A, which cannot happen. You can convince yourself that A cannot be 7 or more. So, we have to check all of these six cases. So, what are the six cases? The six cases are A equals to 1, A equals to 2, A equals to 3, A equals 4, A equals 5, A equals 6. These are the six different cases. Okay, so how do we go about it? Well, let's look at C and B. What is C plus B then? If A is 1, C plus B is obviously 20, the remaining value of the parameter. Can you tell me what is C minus B? Well, C minus B has to be greater, uh, less than or equal to 1, the third side. Less than or equal to 1. That's, that's, we are using the triangular inequality in the other way. Okay, so it cannot be 0. C and B are not equal. They are all very different. These are all unequal. We know that. So, we, from here, we can say that C plus B is 20 and C minus B is equal to 1. But wait, that means 2C is 21. I'm just adding it. But that makes C a fraction. So, we cannot have a solution from here. There is no solution. C cannot be a fraction, cannot be 10.5. Okay, so for A equal to 1, there is no solution. Just like this, we will go through all other cases. So for A equal to 2, C plus B is 19. C minus B, well, it's either 2 or 1. It's less than or equal to 2. The difference of the two sides is less than or equal to 2. So it's either 2 or it's 1. You have to be a little careful here. Can the sum of two sides be equal to the third side in an actual triangle? Can the difference of two sides be equal to the third side in an actual triangle? This is a challenge question. Think about it geometrically and tell me in the comment section. Is it possible in an actual non-degenerate triangle? 
up to that we will just go from 2 but you will soon realize that we can make it shorter okay so obviously this one will not work because again 2c is 21 so c is 10.5 but we know a b c are integers so we can just work with the second one where 2c is 20 or c is equal to 10 and then b is equal to 9 so c is equal to 10 b is equal to 9 a is equal to 2 that's a solution 2 9 10 excellent so we have one solution now we can do the same thing with a equal to 3 so for a equal to 3 we will have c plus b is equal to 18 c minus b again we have three cases 3 c plus b is 18 c minus b is 2 c plus b is 18 c minus b is 1 now we can actually make our job shorter if i just add the two equations i will see these two cases will not work because c is becoming a decimal so only one solution from here we are just interested in the number of solutions not the solutions themselves what about a equal to 4 so c plus b is equal to 17 c minus b is equal to 4 c minus b is equal to 3 c minus b is equal to 2 c minus b is equal to 1 there are four cases with c plus b is equal to 17 again you can play the same game and you can immediately check that this one doesn't work this one doesn't work because c is becoming a decimal or a non-integer number so again we have two solutions one and two you can do the same thing for a equals to five and a equals to six exact same thing if you are able to do that can you tell me the number of solutions in the comment section i hope you learned something from this video especially how to use triangular inequality to solve geometry problems if you are interested in mathematical olympiads consider subscribing to our channel if you're also interested in programs on math olympiad isi entrance physics olympiad student research and stuff like this check the link in the description thank you for watching the video i will see you in the next one keep on doing great problems bye